All right, welcome back students. We are going to continue in unit four of your workbook, unit four. We are in the grammar section on page 20, page 20. So first conditional with if and when clauses. A, match the sentence have. So each one of these, this is a half of a sentence. This is a half of a sentence. Plural for half is halves. So, number one, if you can't come to the movie, I won't go either. The test will begin when the teacher rings the bell. We won't go on a hike if it rains this afternoon. Sam will lose his job if he doesn't stop coming to work late. Look, this is real. If you have a job and you show up late a lot, you will lose your job. Esa es la razón. Estoy muy duro con llegar en tiempo a mi clase. Porque ser puntualidad, or ser puntual es muy importante. Number five. When mom doesn't make dinner, she takes us to a restaurant instead. Rihanna won't have dinner with us if we don't have her favorite meal. All right, let's go to section B. All right, so complete each sentence using the verb forms described in parentheses. So they give you the verb and the form. So we need to write this verb in this form for this subject. All right, so they want be, to be in simple present form. So, if Lena is late, she, now we need call in future. She will call to let us know. Number two, when Gino, all right, the verb is arrive in simple present, and it is a he or she, so it needs to have an S. So when Gino arrives, Marilyn, future for greet, will greet him. Number three, Marquita, we need future for come. So will come to visit when she, now get with simple present, and she, so gets time off from work. Number four, the ball game, so to be in the future is, what is it? Will be canceled if it, we need start with simple present, and it's an it, so starts to rain. Very good. Let's go to exercise C. So circle the verbs that complete each sentence. Write whether each event is possible or definite. Oh, those look the same. Sorry. Let me change that. We'll write definite like that. All right, so a P or a D for possible or definite. All right, so before we start, which is possible and which is definite? If is possible and when is used for definite, when something is going to happen. So number one, if I... I get cold tonight, I will put on a coat. It uses if 
So this is possible. Number two, we shall go on a picnic if the weather is nice. That is possible. Shall is more or less the same as will. We shall go, we will go. All right, number three, when my friends visit, I make dinner. And look, it uses when, so that is definite. Number four, Jan, blank the television later when it blank time to do homework. Jan will turn off the television later, later is in the future, when it is time to do homework. So there's when, so that is definite. Number five, do you blank a note to your teacher when you are late? Do you bring, don't use the past, it is not brought. Do you bring a note? When is definite? Let's go to number six. When you blank from college, you will see that life is just beginning. All right, so we know it's definite. Let's go ahead and mark that. So this one has the will. So this one needs to be simple present. So when you graduate, you will see. Number seven, if I blank the exam again, I will have to study during my summer vacations. If is possible. So if I don't, pass the exam again, I will have to study. So remember, won't is will not, and we already have will here, so we don't need it there. That's a simple way to remember which one to use. And number eight, I blank you tonight if my parents let me go to the party. I will see future, I will see you tonight, if is possible. All right, so practice reading these sentences to yourself. This will help you understand which verb form to use in which part of the conditional or main clause. Let's continue to page 21. So remember, you can use unless in place of the negative for an if or a conditional statement. So, if, it's, if it uses unless here, we need to change it to not use the word unless, but mean the same thing. So, unless Sherry fails the test, she will pass the class. So, if Sherry doesn't fail the test, all right, then she will pass the class. So I'm not going to write everything, I'm just going to put it there. So if Sherry doesn't fail the test, she will pass the class. Number two, if Maurice doesn't hurry, he will be late for the movie. So, let's follow this one. Unless Maurice. All right, so we need to use hurry. So, unless Maurice hurries, He will be late for the movie. All right. Number three, unless we act now, it will soon be too late to save our planet. All right, so let's follow the same format as this one. So if 
and then our subject, we, and then we need to use doesn't or don't. So if we don't, act now, and then this whole section goes here. So if we don't act now, it will soon be too late to save our planet. Number four, if Tanika doesn't earn enough money, she won't buy a new car. So let's follow the same formula as number two. So unless, and then our subject, Tanika, unless Tanika, and then here's our verb, unless Tanika earns enough money, And then this section goes here. So unless Tanika earns enough money, she won't buy a new car. So understand this could be a little confusing. These are the correct forms. So practice reading each form to get a feel for how you should use each one. Now let's go to section E. This is the last section for the grammar part in your workbook. All right, so this is saying on line A, write a sentence about a future event. Then rewrite the sentence on line B, changing the order. So if you write it like this, change it like this. So number one, when the bell rings, comma, we will leave. All right, so when the bell rings, we will leave. So now we need to change it. So this part goes here. We will leave when the bell rings. All right, so when you start with your if or when, you always need a comma. That's the only time. So when the bell rings, comma. All right, let's go to number two. If, if I eat the pizza, if I eat the pizza, I won't be hungry. All right, so look, there's the comma, so now let's change it. So if I eat the pizza, I won't be hungry. Just change them around like that. So I won't be hungry if this part I eat the oh sorry the pizza all right and number three let's make one for number three using unless so if you need help look at these right here unless There is more rain, comma, the plants will, sorry, will die. So unless there is more rain, the plants will die. So let's change it. The plants will die unless 
there is more rain. Ok, esta parte son mis ejemplos en su uh, libro de trabajo. En esta parte quiero que ustedes usan sus propias oraciones. Alright, eso es, ah, perdón, eso es todo para Grammar. En la próxima video vamos a trabajar en parte de Conversation.